Hey guys, I wanted to do a quick little project share. Uh, this is the ones from Dollar Tree, super cute. If you saw my tutorial on or presses video on how to, you know, assemble it, like how to cover it, this is how it turned out. I mean, the measurements were just a little off, so I, my apologies, but this is the first one I ever made, as you can see right here. Super cute. Sorry for the setup, I have things going on on my craft desk. And I have to share this with you guys because I have to mail it out. It turned out I added the Hobby Lobby trim. This trim is from Michaels. The Hobby Lobby trim, I did cut it in half just so I can have this ruffle side showing. I did a sequence all the way around to act like, I guess, cream or sprinkles. And I, I would do it shaker because I saw Craft Perch do it shaker. Now, this uh, was inspired by bits and pieces on Instagram. So... I did not come up with this idea. And then I added a trim here, some pom-pom trim, sequence trim there. I added a whole bunch of flowers there, as you can see. The balloons, a little tag. I got this idea from Bitty Bitty Bomb Bomb. And this candles I got from Dollar Tree. It's like um a, a crown, a birthday crown. I just removed it. I had it in my, you know, my kids' birthdays, and I just took it apart. This little um ballerina uh my mom ordered some from amazon it brings us back <laughs> in the day of when i used to have cakes and she used to have cakes with that on there and i made some rolled flowers that have glue strings some regular flowers some tools some leaves this is how the back looks there and when you open it up i think i have to add a couple more things to this but when you open it up i did add some of these beautiful flowers that I got inspired to make by creating for fun. Her name is Lori. And these she uses a punch, you guys. But I want to use what I have. And I don't have space for punches. And I kind of don't want to spend um, money on things that if I could try to just recreate it using items I have already. So I used the dies from In Love Art Shop. And I see glue strings. So, I mean, there are a lot of work when you're die cutting them. But... It, it pays off because look how pretty look how pretty i do like the centerpieces she uses um but anywho these are just so great i'm gonna see if i link her video down below she shares how she makes them definitely punching them out is ideal because it's so much quicker faster and instead of die cutting when you only have one die <laughs> so i made these for my friend and i also created this super cute little rosette here as you can see, I did a lot of layering. We have some stickers, some hearts, some trim, a little dangle uh, bead there of a heart shape, cupcake, and then the leftover piece from this ruffle trim. I just added it to the back there and I added some tool and it's super cute, right? And then, oops, um, I'm gonna put it in this super cute bag that my friend Lou David gave me a whole bunch of goodies. And then in here, in this adorable bag that Lou David gave me too, because she hooked me up, I added this super cute little tray. And I've seen people use this to put beads in and then package it up really cute and then send it to your friends. So I just made a couple of dangly, this is the foam from Dollar Tree. Um, I also am giving her a bunny rabbit with the ready hooks attached. This little eraser one there. Another one. Oh, I think she, it was connected to this. I'm not sure. Maybe I need to fix that. And then we have the little purple bunny rabbit, the little doggy. And this one here is a little candy. Yeah, I think something might have came off. So I would just have to fix that. A little tiny rosette using pom-poms. And in this one, if you can see, I added, um, what is this called, you guys? Thread. And then I add a sequence in the thread. So I don't know if you can tell my lighting is like horrible right now. So I'm using natural lighting. I added some pom-poms, but you can see a little bit that there is sequence all the way around. And yeah. So that is what I'm giving um, to my friend for her birthday. To recreate something like this, uh, let me know. I would like to see it. Tag me on Instagram so I can check you out. If you have a YouTube channel and I don't know about it, let me know as well. And make sure to go check out all these lovely ladies that I've mentioned. I'll leave the links down below and I'll check you guys on my next one. Bye.